Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the esteemed FaceTime with Leaders, an initiative by World Development Corporation. I'm Sunny Pancholi, anchor at World Development Corporation. FaceTime with Leaders is a platform for industry titans to share their experiences, thoughts, ideas, and best practices in order to inspire one another and future leaders. In a nutshell, we attempt to encapsulate the multi-decadal learnings acquired by these industry leaders. We also hope that by conducting these FaceTime with Leaders interviews, we can bring together a global community of eminent personalities. By bringing together such visionaries on one platform, we hope to play a part in inspiring the lives of other leaders. Great learnings from great leaders undoubtedly assist everyone by identifying, nurturing, and using the trade secrets that are proven success formulas for many. And this is what we aim for with these sessions by making them a gathering of industry stalwarts and a knowledge sharing community. We have one such highly acclaimed name on FaceTime with leaders with us today, Mr. Samir Jindal. He is an accomplished professional with extensive experience and a proven track record led by strategic vision, leadership, and substantial contributions to the automotive industry. With a robust background in engineering and program management, he has held pivotal roles in renowned organizations, namely, MG Motor India Private Limited, Hero Motor Corp Limited, General Motors India, Devu Motors India Private Limited, and Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited. Currently, serving as the Director of Cost Optimization and Value Analysis, Value Engineering, that is WAVE, at MG Motor India Private Limited, he is responsible for driving cost reduction initiatives across all company programs. In this role, he oversees localization, Wave projects, special edition launches, and manufacturing cost optimization. Since assuming this position in January 2023, he has successfully managed large amounts of savings projects annually, showcasing his strategic leadership and financial acumen. Welcome to FaceTime with Leaders, Mr. Samir. Thank you. So to begin with, could you please walk us through your professional journey and highlight the key roles and responsibilities you have held in your career so far? Yeah, definitely. So uh, I have graduated from NIT Allahabad. It was uh, long way back in 1992. And I started my career from oil sector in Bharat Petroleum as a trainee engineer. And from there, I got a scholarship from USA to pursue higher studies. And I spent two years uh, working and studying at State University of New York at USA. And uh, I did it in uh, computer-aided manufacturing and design. And I returned after my studies to India. And I joined the automotive industry uh, at the Devu Motor Corporation. And uh, I worked there in the design uh, department in uh, several uh, models like Matiz and CLO. And then after working there for five years, I joined General Motor. And I spent around 14 years uh, at General Motors and became the director of engineering. And after that, I shifted to Hero Moto Corp as a head of programs uh, management and establishing their new technical center at Jaipur as well. So eventually, I joined uh, MG Motor as director for uh, engineering and programs in 2017. And I held various positions there since then. Mr. Samir, thank you for the excellent start to this interview. So continuing our conversation, can you let our viewers know about a specific project where you have led the team in achieving significant cost reductions or process optimization, and what are the strategies you have employed and what are the outcomes? Sure. So the cost optimization cross-functional team, or CFT we call, was recently formed uh, around one and a half years back in the company. And this is to improve the bottom line and focusing on eliminating the waste, as well as optimizing the product in terms of material and other areas. So this is a team compromising of uh, all the functions in the company working as uh, one team and one vision. The CFT as a whole worked on various projects, but specifically I would like to mention one area where we did exceptionally well in the last year is on uh, our Hector car, which we launched in 2019 and we had uh, given a uh, loaded of features on that, but we never thought of bringing the cost down. Uh, in terms of uh, feature optimization or uh, material or uh, any other reductions. So we did a benchmarking and then we did the teardown, which is uh, going up to the subsystem and up to the component levels. 
and compare various raw material, grade, thickness on the parts and uh, bring in a massive cost uh, reduction. So this uh, also helps in reducing us the cost uh, last year. Uh, this, uh, almost this year, we reduced the market price of the vehicle as well. So we passed on a uh, lot of the uh, cost reduction to the customers uh, as well on this car. All right. So what learnings have you taken from your professional life long experiences? Uh, see, look, professional life uh, teaches you a lesson every day. So there are a lot of lessons learned. Uh, but the biggest one I would say uh, for youngsters is that navigation through different situations uh, without disturbing your inner peace and be calm in most of the situations. And how you balance your work life uh, between the office and the family is also very important. And keeping a right attitude uh, towards your work and uh, towards your colleague, peers, subordinates, everybody. And it will help you uh, go very long way in the career. And everybody gets through ups and downs in the career. How to uh, remain strong internally during these tough times is important. And how to keep the humility during the success. And also networking in the professional life can become your big asset. All right. So, Mr. Sameer, now that we have discussed your career journey, your professional pursuits, roles, and responsibilities, uh, let's move ahead and let's dive into the subject of ESG and corporate governance. So, here is my question to you and a very obvious one. How and when did you develop an interest in ESG and corporate governance? Okay. So, uh, this uh, has been a recent one and it's a very interesting story. As I embarked upon this career change from my traditional engineering and programs position to uh, getting more engaged uh, into uh, area of cost optimization, which is more of a techno commercial. And also I have an additional responsibility of MG Nurture program, which was uh, developing an advanced teaching course for the college students in electric vehicle and connected car. So uh, my boss and MD of the company guided me more into looking into taking the corporate governance and uh, board of the directors program, which is independent director certification from World Council of Directors. And in this, I came across the ESG uh, as one of the programs. And uh, that also uh, I registered. And also uh, the guidance uh, from my boss was to establish this framework in the company, as this is going to become a prime importance in the coming years for the companies. So I was uh, also dealing in the cost optimization on some carbon credits uh, trading, which uh, also comes as a voluntary and also from the government of India under the CAFE program. And this also helps in uh, reducing the CO2 emission from the cars, from the environment, and also in uh, as a social service for education in college and uh, for teaching the electric vehicle education for uh, internally for the MG employees. So all these things uh, come as a package and as a natural progression for getting more and more into ESG. All right, that sounds incredible. Also, as an ESG and corporate governance expert, what values do you bring to the table? Yeah, so as I embarked on this journey for uh, establishing our ESG framework and corporate governance, I found it it's uh, very important for every company to do it by spirit, not just to abide by the rules. As ESG in form of an environmental uh, saving uh, pledge taken by our Honorable Prime Minister, or uh, the social thing, which not only mandated by CSR policies, but also through the social work by connecting to underprivileged and uh, have a proper committees focused task force teams. It's not only for audit uh, and other things, it's also important for developing the society. In corporate governance, uh, it's uh, not only like audit, nomination, remuneration, stakeholder and CSR committees, but also the specialized group of people required in different areas. And uh, be it uh, government PLI scheme or increasing localization, a strong governance is required from board of directors in every company, in my opinion, as per the requirement of the company. So currently, I am in a transition uh, process, uh, I feel, in my life. 
for becoming more strategic in terms of cost optimization expert or spreading education or dealing with government agencies like SEAM for policy discussions or uh, uh, with this new ESG portfolio added uh, discussing on these uh, policies. So now I see myself transforming into a strategist to guide the board of companies, large and small, for profit and expansion, and to deal with government uh, in my future positions. Okay. All right. Uh, now let's dive into the subject of uh, technology and its impact on your professional landscape. So here is my question to you. What are some of the most remarkable technology-led changes you have you expect to see with the advent of IoT, AI, ML, blockchain, digital twin, big data, web 3.0, etc. in your field? Yeah, all these are uh, definitely the technologies of today and tomorrow. And uh, this uh, AI and ML is uh, going to be uh, applied into various uh, areas. Even in cost optimization also, we are uh, trying to work out some AI and ML models for automating the process and reducing the huge human efforts in cost reduction efforts. Also the HV batteries or high voltage batteries or electric vehicles. We are developing a very interesting second life usage application. So even after the batteries got depleted from the car usage, it can be used, used for other applications uh, as well. So here also the algorithms of AI ML helps us to uh, know about the time where the batteries can be work or percentage SOH or the state of health at various intervals. So there are various applications across all industries, even for blockchain, digital twin and big data and requires an extensive application experts in my opinion. So the tool learning is easy, but application according to the industry and how it has to be applied and the results to be used. That's more important in coming future. Mr. Sami, thank you for sharing such amazing insights into different, different subjects. So this brings us to the last question of the session. We are building a community of industry magnets. The move is meant for cross-pollination of knowledge and building a knowledge sharing community of corporate giants and industry experts. So what are your thoughts about these initiatives taken by Mr. Zishan Pathan, Mr. Hevel Mehta, and the team of World Development Corporation? Certainly, I would like to congratulate uh, all these uh, w w World Council of Leaders, uh, uh, directors, uh, leaders for this uh, uh, very good platform of Star Wars created by them. And also uh, uh, how they bring together uh, all the people on the platform. But so uh, this, uh, I believe, uh, uh, taking this course, uh, really the people can uh, have a real advantage of networking and people connection, which is uh, currently missing. Great. It was fantastic conversing with you, and I'm confident that our insights will inspire future leaders. Thank you, Mr. Samit Jindal, for joining us today. Wish you the best for your future endeavors. Moreover, Trust that this initiative by Directors Institute has unquestionably expanded the participants' understanding and enriched their minds. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye.